Hi, in this tutorial we're gonna create this Christmas lantern from the scratch and because we don't have any blueprints of it and we don't have any other images we're going to eyeball it just like this so first we look at the model and see which form is it and it's obviously a cylinder so let's create this bottom part <coughs> So take the cylinder and drag and I always press F4 to see the edges and let's decrease these sides to 16 because I want it to be dividable <coughs> into 4 and get rid of these uh, extra segments here. Now we convert it to editable poly and now let's watch again it is a little bit rounded here and it has like a step so we make it smaller and inset and then extrude okay just like this it's a little bit higher like this and okay now let's create this upper part I always try to build my models from one another like this so we have exact same cylinder here and this one here so it's better to take this model then shift and drag to make it copy and then let's rotate it to 90 degrees press this angle snap tool and rotate and we see 180 degree so this is exactly and like we want so let's watch it again and from here we have a little bit like arc here so let's insert it again and make a little bit higher and then we're gonna make it like this so let's delete it and select the border and we'll make it by hand and scale down drag and scale oh sorry and scale down and drag scale down like this because it's a little bit less round okay like this now we need this part so let's shift drag and then let's select all these round edges by double clicking it and split so this is uh, the, this now the separate element now let's make it a little bit bigger and select this upper border and build our continue to build our model like this now we extrude make it upper and now back wow oh, it's not so big let's undo this and make it again but now a little bit smaller like this and now back and now like this and do like this and now shift drag and press collapse to make it close now we have the basic shape of our lantern now let's see how it looks after the turbo smooth but before we need to make these ones correct for the turbo smooth because if we don't do anything and if we think it's okay now after pressing turbo smooth <coughs> these parts will not be looking as we want because it's 
has no edges for this we add inset to the bottom part to make edges close each other come to here inset and here too now add turbo smooth and as we see we have exactly same looking model <clears throat> but we need to make uh, some parts sharper for example this part and this part so we add extra edges let's select these edges and these edges by double clicking and add chamfer but not make it little this big it's better if it's small okay press ok and turbo smooth it now we, as you see it's good okay and now we have this part this one is sharper and this one is sharper also the edges so we select the edges we want to be sharp and that chamfer also this 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 and this make it chamfered but make it a little bit smaller because the detail is itself small now add to smooth and voila this is exactly how we want and here uh, if we make it a little bit higher we see that there's nothing here for so let's take this and shift drag here and shift drag to the center now it looks right and actually I want this a little bit less sharp so let's do like this let's delete these extra edges from here like this these edges and these edges and press ctrl backspace now to rose mode but it's still less sharp now <coughs> so let's add edges here let's make it a little bit large and add, add round edges here and now it looks like in real life okay uh, now let's add these glassy parts so we have how many one two three four five six we have six windows so let's make it like this and press to see how it would like it would look like okay it's good and as we have six windows we need to make them uh, the same size so to make this we create a cylinder and align the cylinder to our model to the center and let's make it sit on the floor or ground and adjust the height okay and let's adjust the radius and let's make the sides six okay so this is how our model will look like let's make it a little bit bigger okay let's uncheck this button okay now let's convert it to editable poly and isolate first we need to delete this unneeded parts and make them all separate elements that's why we need to set, split them by the edges so we select all the edges and press split so now they are all the separate elements 
so we need to make them a little bit smaller in order to uh, see the gap in between them so we select the scale and make them a little bit smaller like 98 percent and inset them and this will be the uh, glass part okay and now extrude or maybe not just detach this and this will be the windows okay let's type window glass and this will be the window metal so we change the color okay and <coughs> this is how it works so if we make it closer we see the metal bends like this to hold the glass like and the same uh, applies to the top okay uh, and we have some extra details like this and here we have like hinge here to make it able to open okay and these parts are static these four parts and we have also this part in order to make it shut okay let's continue okay so first we need to actually it would be better if we create the one and then copy so <coughs> let's add two edges here in order to make this glass holder so connect and make it two okay and now we need to make them straight so we select this vertex and this vertex and click this X button to make them straight and this one too X and now we want to make them uh, double to make the extrusion available so we make chamfer and it's okay and now we select all the borders and drag like this and now if you would like we can like select the edge and split these parts to make the glass holder visible very clearly so we press split and make these parts a little bit smaller like this and okay, now we select these two edges and drag them down like they are holding the glass and now let's detach this detach and now we don't need to create the same in, from the down in the down part we just take and make a symmetry first centered object and then add symmetry modifier and press C and now you can adjust the height but if you got your pivot point in the center you don't need to adjust anything and now let's think uh, about how it would look like after the turbo smooth applied so I let's add turbo smooth and now I see that it has a problem because it has less edges in the needed parts so we select here double click the edges and add the chamfer make them really small really really small okay and now let's go back and see how it looks like now it's okay and now we need to add this round let's make it two to see clearly and as you see we have good model now let's add 
uh, chamfer to these parts. Okay. Now press chamfer. Okay. Like this, and see how it looks like after two rows nodes. Now it's good. But we still need some edges here because it depends too much. Let's add chamfer, make it like this, and see. Okay, it's good. And also, we can do like this. Let's first add one turbo smooth modifier, let's iteration one, and now add the shell to make it like this and now add another Turbo Smooth modifier now it looks like the real and if you like we you can add the segments to the shell modifiers to make it uh, like straight to add extra edge here if you press one it disappears and if you press two it adds edge here to make it detail good and even after shell modifier you can add edit poly modifier here to be able to change some vertices for example here let's double click here and make it straight by pressing X and let's bring it closer to edge and as you see here we have extra vertices in the wrong place let's bring it closer and let's make it like this and let's correct this one too let's do the same with it here and now let's bring it again for the place like this and fix here and it's it has some wrong vertexes inside too you need to fix them too okay <coughs> so let's click and bring here also the vertex too and this one too so bring it close like this okay now let's add this edge, let's bring this edge closer here too but make sure that this is equal to this and if you have you, know, you got these black areas it means that the vertexes are in the wrong place make it right so that you don't have any black here okay now we got this part right now let's press Turbo smooth again and see. And okay, as you see, it's good now. And <coughs> so you don't need to fix this part too. We just add symmetry again to copy this part to the right. So let's add before turbo smooth, let's add symmetry. Now, mm, as you see, this one gets wrong. Before symmetry it was right, because we need to flip. Now we have right here, and add another symmetry. And now select Z to copy this right upper part to the bottom. Okay, now we have good model. Also we have a thickness and now our 
glass will be much looking much better in the rendering okay so let's add our glass so let's select this and detach and make it center it the pivot center to object and now add shell modifier and it, it's a little bit smaller we need to fix this too so let's add shell and let's get rid of the extra segment here and now bring it to the right place so select the editor poly and press this button to see end result and drag here and drag there too and now fix the upper part and this down part okay now we get great glass and let's adjust the thickness a little bit okay okay good let's add the material even if you want so let's apply material and adjust the opacity like a 30 and okay now it's visible so we have uh, four static ones which is ready and now we have these moving parts actually this one is the same too it just has a hinge here and a hinge here to make it closer <clears throat> to make it all able to open and we have extra part here <clears throat> so let's make it all right let's adjust let's copy all these correct models to their place so let's group it and now let's adjust it from the top we need to rotate it to the 60 degree because we have six 360 degree and we have six parts so we divide 360 to 6 so let's rotate it and okay we have we need uh, five of them okay let's put here let's put this here let's put this here and this one to here and the same here okay let's see if it's right and let's delete this unneeded edges polygons <coughs> okay let's see if it's right for example this one ah, okay we need to delete these two and now let's uh, because we deleted the original model and we got back so we have some of them flipped let's rotate them back 180 degree and this one too okay, let's see okay this one's too let's rotate oh let's rotate them okay okay now we need this to to be opened like let's click here to make it able to rotate from the center and let's make it them open okay now we need to add details here we need to have this one in the edge and this one here so let's do like this oh, let's add this part oh we need like this so we can do it uh, with a spline 
that's from the top menu let's add this plane here this this like this and this okay let's make it a little bit smaller and bring it closer to the model okay now add extrude and adjust the height okay now add shell let's see okay we need to make it shorter okay let's make it closer to the model okay we have this part ready and it sticks to the bottom part now let's make it like this and maybe make it a little bit bigger but let's make height is small mm -hmm, like this Okay, now we need to add this part. So we have two extrudes here, and let's exit isolation mode and select this one. Now isolate this model and let's add extra edges. Ungroup this to be able to work on this. So before the turbo smooth and let's collapse this model from here collapse to and press yes now we have we need to have two extras one from here and one from here so let's select these vertices and press Z to make them straight and this one too Z so our this would be our first extrude and this will be our second extrude like this <coughs> okay like this maybe we don't select this one also this one so extrude Okay, let's make it a little bit wider and let's delete this inside or maybe not, we just select this and inset, we'll make it smaller okay now let's press bridge now we got this hollow part let's do the same with here inset and press bridge now let's add to rosmut and see how it looks like okay, it looks terrible because we have fewer edges here and now let's add some of them press select these round edges and add press connect and add two vertices and make them wider okay and now okay the this part looks good but we need to add more edges here okay select this part and do the same with here and we also need to add extra parts here now we need to add only one 
because we don't have anything here we just make it closer to the hinge this two okay now it should look like normal okay <coughs> but it actually doesn't look like a uh, rounded because this edge is closer to the side we need to make sure that it's centered or I don't know let's make it let's select this edge too and do like this ah, okay now it looks good and let's make it let's select all the edges and bring them here in order to make it a little bit round and even we can select these vertices and bring it to the center too now it should look like the round little bit round at least <coughs> okay now let's add the wire here this wire so we go to the spline we draw it here like this 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 like this and actually this one is smaller okay now let's make these parts round select this all straight vertices and adjust roundness from the fillet like this maybe first we adjust these two and then we adjust this part because they are not the same okay now it's good so let's enable rendering and now we have this good wire now we correct it from here okay it looks good but it's it has a little bit space here you know the, uh, for the user to make it up and down but we don't have this so let's make it happen select all the edges and scale from the center okay and make it down okay good okay and let's add just the pivot from here change the pivot to here because when we rotate our wire uh, so it's rotated from here and I think this some of the edges is in different place let's make it like this let's change make it closer to here okay now we have correct wire so let's end isolation and we have something here black because it's because we have one iteration and if we adjust it to two it all will look good okay so what else we need and we have some hinges here actually we don't need to add really hinge there we just add two cylinders like and we adjust the sides to make it look more round now let's do it like this or maybe we just add make make it a little bit smaller and uh, okay like this add two here convert it to poly and attach them okay and let's make it rounded 
like select these edges and add connect two edges make it round like this and let's extrude it, this edge inside like this okay now let's add turbo smooth to see what happens it looks terrible because we don't have any polygons here let's isolate first okay select all these empty polygons and inset and let's press collapse now it looks a little bit better we also need to add this extra details to the edges so it looks like real hinge we add chamfer but make it really small and now we scale it with our hand okay and now this one too scale okay now we see how it looks like from Turbo Smooth. Okay, it looks good. Maybe not. We just add one extra. We do a one extra step. We do like this and okay, no luck. We add chamfer here. We do chamfer like this. Actually, maybe the real hinge doesn't look like this. I just making improvisation myself. And now add chamfer here, small chamfer. Okay, so we have something like this. Let's end isolation and delete this upper and copy this. Okay, now let's copy the same to here okay so we have what we need and now we create this candle part so select this polygon we're gonna create this handle holder from here so shift press shift and drag scale it down and select count object we want to make it a different object and now uh, try to create this holder shift and drag and and scale like this or maybe like this okay and we also add this inset to the bottom part now let's add turbo smooth to see what's going on okay it's good and we maybe we need to make it a little bit higher and as we did with these windows we add one turbo smooth here and then add shell bonifier and then add another turbo smooth to make it much more smoother okay and now we need to add candle and it's basically the same let's duplicate and go back delete these parts okay and turbo smooth shell but we need to add one extra edge here like this okay so we make it like this and we create our candle so how we do that we just add edit poly 
and select all the round edges, polygons, and shift drag and make it different object. And now we select this and press cap. And it's black because it's flipped. We select all this element and press flipped. And we can delete this lower part. We have we need only this. Now we make it down and we also add this light burning part like we make it centered and okay it looks good okay now let's add these parts and also we need to add this holder so we draw it from the spline from the top it looks basically like small wire like it like this dun, dun, dun. Let's make it to the right place. Okay, now let's add our fillets we have one here and one here let's adjust oh it's too much I think let's make it a little bit smaller okay and we have the fillets here too let's adjust okay and this one okay but uh, our holder is not so long so let's select these vertices and oh and let's bring it close to the model and the pivot point of our object is here We have we need to have a hole here. Oh, like let's make it a little bit higher. Let's add extra edge loop here. Press connect and now select this vertex, also this vertex. So we chamfer make it a little small and then extrude this polygon inside or maybe just delete it and we also need to uh, give a shell to it to make to give it thickness to it also we let's separate this object or maybe they not we just stay as we have here and let's shift drag it inside see if we got any change here okay it's good let's do it the same here okay now we need to adjust this thickness of our wire Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and we also need to fix this error here because it looks a little bit weird. And let's select this and control click to polygon to select these polygons. 
and let's press this button to see how it will look like at the end and drag it to here. Now we fixed a little bit and now let's do the same with here. Select the border and click control click to the polygon to select the polygons and let's drag it inside. Okay. And now let's fix this part from the wire. Select this edge, uh, this vertex, and let's move like this. Okay. Good. Now uh, what we left is the stars. Stars. The star part we can do with a boolean, and we do. Actually, I don't advise. To use booleans before finishing your model because if you use the booleans you will get uh, ugly vertices everywhere so you need to use this boolean carefully and only after finishing your entire shape so let's create the stars let's create stars from the splines and make them five corners okay and see how many we have one two three I, I guess it's six and we have only two here and I guess we have the symmetrical two stars here too so let's extrude this star So let's make it bigger and adjust as you wish. Uh, I did copy this model in order to keep the original one because it's highly probable that we're gonna mess up the entire model so we could be able to retrieve the original one. So let's and I guess we don't have any polygons here because as you see from the original model we have lights here and if it this part was closed we couldn't be able to see any lights here that's why I keep this latest part of the model okay now we need to have six of these stars so let's adjust our pivot click from hierarchy to affect pivot only and let's align our pivot to the model center let's press align and click to the model and click pivot point to the center now our pivot is centered to the model so let's go to the top and rotate and copy this model five times let's rotate and like how let's see okay we need five so we have six stars and one was the first one and now let's come attach all these stars to itself and before that we just add these two stars too. Let's rotate and make it smaller. I guess. Actually, let's make all of them a little bit smaller. So let's select similar. Oh no. Let's select it by hand and make them scale down. And in order to scale them separately, we need to change this to first one. And okay, this one is good. Let's make it right place, a little bit down, and copy this to here, and one from the top. Okay. 
this and let's rotate it like this okay let's copy this stars to the left side too okay and move them like this okay and uh, because this holder hole and the stars are nearly in the same place let's rotate these stars like this okay now let's attach all the stars together Okay, let's see if all of them are touched okay and now let's now let's do our boolean operation go here compound objects and press boolean and select the operand and now select subtract okay now we got great looking stars now we can add shell modifier to our object now let's convert to editable poly and delete this uh, make them separate like detach them and let's add shell to it shell. and we don't need to adjust any outer numbers we just have want to like we would like to have in inner amount so we got great looking model here now we can easily replace this part let's detach delete this part and now let's align this to our model select align and good we just need to make it a little bit lower we can do it according to this hole good actually we can do it a little bit lower okay so we have nice Christmas lantern I hope you like this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial and you can get the final model from the link below please go and check this out and write what you think and if you like this tutorial subscribe for more thank you